Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial um, uh, to walk you through how to uh, set up a Rhino file using the CAD file that was provided to you in your studio assignment um, and uh, placing aerial images in there and uh, getting them to the right scale. So first thing, I'm going to open up Rhino, uh, make sure I'm in the right units. So I'll type in units. And I want to be in feet for this because I believe the PWG feet. Okay. Okay. And then uh, on the D2L course site in 201, uh, there is under the Project 1 sites, under CAD files, is Project 1 CAD, style, uh, CAD sites, base images, etc. That's a DWG file. So go ahead and download that file. I already have it downloaded. Uh, and you can either go in Rhino and you can go import, or you can just drag it right in and choose import. Uh, select that DWG file, click open. Uh, and then under options, um, you can make sure that under model units it says feet. It's interpreting uh, units of the file in feet. And click OK. And it should automatically place it in top view. Once it's done, expand my top view. I can. Uh oh, not sure where it is. So just go and type in select all. Then type in zoom, Z. It's selected or S. Okay. So there's my. CAD drawing. Uh, and it looks like, interestingly enough, if you also download this file, all, you download this um, uh, JPEG file, all, which is also on under CAD files, D2L. So if you download this file and put it in the same folder, then uh, when you import that uh, CAD file, it should automatically uh, place this aerial image in there for you. Now, if you don't have it, that's not a big deal, because um, what I'm going to show you how to do is uh, place the um, more detailed aerial images that you were provided in here and kind of scale them and line them up, uh, as well as uh, how to get your own aerial images and scale them. So for right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and select this surface. And I can either delete it or choose hide. OK. So first of all, also in that um, section on D2L, there's uh, an aerial image for 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so I downloaded those as well. So I'm going to choose 2 and 3. And you can place aerial images, JPEGs, in right now just by dragging them in. So you see how my cursor is highlighting objects when I hover over it? So I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So I can just place it in an open space over here. Go on my mouse. And under Options, I want to choose Picture. Okay. Now, Grand Line is going to ask me first corner of the picture. I need to just click somewhere. Second, and then it'll ask me to size it. So this doesn't really matter too much because I'm going to scale it to my uh, CAD drawing, to my map. So I'll just click somewhere for the second line. Okay. Then basically the best way to scale these uh, images is to kind of line them up to the uh, features that you have in your CAD drawing. So for example, one easy to identify feature is this uh, graphic circle. So I'm going to go ahead and line that guy up uh, with the line drawing. Now we can also see where this path kind of goes. Uh, and we can also use this like street right here. So what I'm going to do next is scale my image. Type in scale. And I'll start by, it's asking me for a base point that it's going to scale my image around. I'll start by choosing the traffic circle, because that's already lined up. And then the best precision will come from choosing something that's kind of further away. So I'm going to use this path up here. 
Uh, if you want to avoid like snapping to something, you can also hold Alt on the key. Okay. So obviously it's not going to line up perfectly, but I want to get it kind of get it in the right scale for right now. And then I can just click and drag that image to. It may still be a little large. I could scale it one more time. This time I'll start. Street line. Okay. Um, and so that is how you would scale um, aerial image. Uh, and real quick, so this has a certain amount of detail. This is actually pretty good for the site you're working on. But let's say, for instance, you wanted a detailed image or a zoomed in image of one. Image. You could go. Maps uh, and well, down, I'm already uh, placed where that uh, site would be. Say, for example, I wanted more detail of kind of part of the site near this path. So, first of all, when you're in Google Maps, so I'm actually in Google Maps, not Google, you get there by typing maps. So we're going to see kind of in here. Um, okay. So in Google Maps, you have a couple options that are really useful. First of all, on the bottom left, we can swap out into satellite. So now we're getting an aerial image. Also, um, if we want to get rid of like these tags and stuff that are kind of like showing us where certain you know, businesses are or street name. Just go in the top left menu where the three bars are. Right under satellite. And click labels on. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, we're going to toggle the labels off, which is great. And now let's say I wanted to zoom in a lot more so I can get more detail of one area. And next, I'm going to use a tool called the snipping tool. So if I go to start, and this is a tool in Windows, I'm just going to start typing in snipping. Yep. This is a nice tool. It helps you um, take screenshots and kind of crop at the same time. So just drag a window. What I really want to make sure I capture is in the bottom right. Very bottom right where my cursor is now. See, there's actually a scale. There's my clipped image. I can save that uh, wherever. So I'll just save it in the same folder. Okay. I'm back in Rhino, so I'm going to delete this for right now. I can either drag the image in, or I can go to picture. Just use, just type in the word picture. That's the command. Select the uh, snipped image. Then I'll do the same thing. I'm just going to click twice to kind of rough place it. And what's great now is instead of trying to line it up to the features we have in our DVD file, just use the command scale. And I'm going to zoom right in on that scale bar. I'm going to click try and try and click right in the middle of that vertical part of the scale. Drag my line over here. Hold shift. Again, you can hold Alt if you want to avoid snapping stuff. Click right in the middle. Okay, and it'll ask me for, uh, or I can just type in the exact distance that I want that to come out to. Type in 50, press Enter. Okay, so now I can kind of line it up features to, to figure out, you know, what it should be but it should be already exactly in the right scale. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to cover is like, you know, how do you print at the right scale? Uh, which is something you guys should have already been kind of doing with your other uh, assignments. Uh, but there's basically two options. The first one is just to di print directly from your... Oh, actually, no, sorry. What you want to do is make a layout. So uh, click the little plus at the bottom, click layout. So um, our layout units are millimeters. We need to change that. Click cancel. 
Type in units again. Go to layout and change into inches. Allow us to scale our two inches. Click on the little plus, make a new layout. I'm going to choose Rhino PDF. Choose for now, I'm going to choose 11 by 17, but you can also choose like a larger format, a plotter scale. So actually, yeah, let's choose an Arc D 26. Change into landscape. Okay. Okay. And so in here, I think we're having an issue of text scaling. So I'm actually just going to go back to model space really quick. Figure out what layer my text is on. So properties under object, so under street name, I'm just going to turn this. Okay, here I can double click inside my detail view. Hit select. Select it. Yes. Okay. Now it's still. Can oh, there's also some other text. So just turn off all the layers that have text on them. Uh, they're scaling kind of massively. Which we could also fix by changing the scaling, but for now I'm just going to text. I'm not sure. Okay. So once you're kind of in the right place, I'm going to go and select my uh, detail view again. You can double click to enter and exit it. So I want to exit it, select the outline of the detail view itself, and then over here in, in the properties panel, for the detail button, I can scale it to what. Let's say I'm I'm printing at a sixteenth of an inch equals a foot. One inch on page equals sixteen inch, sixteen feet. In. Then I can again I can click inside my detail view and align myself up. Just using right click and dragging can. Okay. And then I would be able to go ahead and print. So I could just type in print or hit P. And when you go to print, you want to make sure you're in uh, printing uh, to a layout. So under view and output scale, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select all layouts. Under scale, I'm going to choose one to one. I've already scaled the drawing, placed it on the page, all the way up to the top. There we go, so no print scaling. And at the very top, under destination, this is important if you want to print uh, an image file, like an aerial image, you need to choose raster output. Vector output is different from raster. Raster to uh, uh, print an image. Then you could go ahead and select your printer or print to a PDF, take your file to a lab computer to print that. 